Morning all. Grab yourself a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, maybe something stronger, who knows. It's going to be another boring episode up at the plot. Right, people, it's only been a week, but already I can see that this pumpkin is putting on growth. I'm going to uh, just slide this tile underneath him. I don't want him sat on the damp earth. And I'm going to feed this plant up right now. Good old grow more, eh? When your pumpkins are shouting at you, feed me Seymour, feed me. I'm going to feed them. I've also got some compost left over, so I'm going to take a couple of handfuls out of this bag and give the uh, soil a top dressing around the base of the plant itself. Just scattering it on. And I'll water it in. And all the nutrients. We'll soak down and feed the plant, fatten those pumpkins. And I'll repeat the process on this little pumpkin plant here. And I'll also give the butternut squash a feed as well. They're definitely fattening up as well. Well, that's the pumpkins and butternut squash fed and watered for another week. Let's go and check out some squatters on my plot. Okay, when I say squatters, I'm actually referring to these self-setters. This was the broad bean bed earlier on this season. I picked as many as I could and then chopped the plants into the ground. But obviously I didn't get all the seeds, as you can see. The plants are making an appearance. That is going to be my uh, bean bed next season but I think a lot of these are too far advanced to try and overwinter so I might try and take some of these small specimens here and relocate them over there and just see what happens let's see if I'm able to overwinter a couple of these small ones over there And there you have it, a row of rabbit food, lambs to the slaughter, 
Um, if a rabbit doesn't get them, well, I doubt whether they'll overwinter very well. They might do. Um, we shall wait and see. I'd also like to show you my magnificent row of Hearst Greenshaft peas. Decimated by the rabbits. Only these few survived. Um, this will be about 15 pods. So yeah, not even worth the boiling. Let me pick one and show you what I've got. There we go. That's it. The first pod picked. And probably the only pod. Five peas. Cracking. Oh man, they are really sweet. Well done, peas. Now then, let me give you an update and show you some of the results that I'm getting for the Monster Beetroot Challenge. Sometimes I amaze myself when it comes to growing beetroot. As you can see, top quality veg grown by a top quality gardener. Let me show you another one. There you go. These are all for the Monster Beetroot Challenge. Well, people, as you can see, when it comes to the Monster Beetroot Challenge, a challenge that I set, I'm already out the running. The rabbits obviously got into my crop, decimated it, and that's, that's it really. I think I've got one or two which might be okay, but they're not going to amount to anything. So it's up to you guys. If you do want to see a really huge beetroot though, one that would make your eyes water, head over to Amanda's allotment and check out the monster that she's growing. I think that's going to be the winner this year. Anyway, only time will tell who the actual winner will be. October the 31st, pull your monster beetroots, weigh them, and the biggest one wins the monster beetroot bragging rights for the year. Me, uh, I think I'll just stick with growing award-winning peas, I reckon. Anyhow, that's it for this amazing episode. Thank you for joining me if you have. Remember to hit that like button, share, subscribe, but most importantly of all, please do comment down below. So like I said, I do like reading your comments. And until next week, bye for now.